Dollar of White Radio, that's Anne Marie and Shania Twain. Eight minutes to eight now. Dawn Haig Thomas is on the show, probably better known as the High Sheriff. Good morning, welcome along. Morning, Paul. Uh, how's how are things going as as High Sheriff? You've been in post since April. Uh, how's it? How is it? Oh, it's amazing. It's a, a real privilege to be the High Sheriff for the Isle of Wight and very, very busy diary, I would say, visiting lots of incredible charities. Fantastic. Now, when you're High Sheriff, you have to wear those tights, don't you? And do you have the shoes <laughs> with the buckles on, on the top as well? Well, that's more the male uh, uniform. Oh, right, okay. The ladies have a little bit more leniency, but I've got to have a hat with three ostrich feathers, yes. Right. Oh, wow. Okay, this mm-hmm. is this is good. Uh, so you're here to talk, really. School holidays are coming up. Uh, there, there is a statistic that is out at the moment about literacy um, and the ability to read on the Isle of Wight amongst island children. 68% of children moving up to secondary school here on the island are not at the reading age that they should be. Uh, In fact, way below some of them where they should be. This is quite a shocking statistic because to get on in life, pretty much we all have to read, don't we? So how do you hope to be able to turn that statistic into something much more positive? That's right, Paul. I think whilst the statistic is worrying, I think what we can do about it is incredibly positive because you know what children are like. They're like sponges. You know, they absorb information so quickly that just with some dedicated time. And so my my ask today, really, or um, reminder to parents, and I'm a parent of three children myself, is that the greatest gift you can give your child this summer holiday is some dedicated attention and sitting down sharing a book either you reading the child reading reading together it just takes 10 minutes it's a lovely way to end the day and so i would say if we can keep the you know, the reading going through the summer for the children they'll be in a much stronger position come september because remember we lost a hundred school days during the pandemic And I'm guessing it takes a little while after the school holidays to get back into it. I always remember picking up a biro after coming back from the school holidays thinking, oh, oh, how do you write again? You know, it's six weeks to us, but to a child, that is is a big percentage of life, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah, that's right. I think the school's estimate that it takes until the October half term for the children to get back up to the level that they were at at the end of the summer term. But, I mean, it doesn't need to be a chore. I think that's a really important point. I was talking to a friend who's got teenagers and she was reminiscing with them and saying, what were your favourite childhood memories? She was expecting to get credit for the Euro Disney trip to Paris and the trip to Chessington World of Adventures. The thing the children remembered was sitting, having cosy time with mum or with dad or the carer and reading, just having that special one-on-one time. Yeah, it is a very important thing to do. And I'm guessing the, these days the biggest enemy is probably the iPad mm-hmm. uh, and the phone and being able to just sort of, I mean, this, this shows my age. My children weren't really of the iPad age, so there was a lot of reading that went on in our house. And I can remember all these different books that we would go through i mean to be fair after a hard day at work sometimes i would skip a few pages and then they'd go i think you might have skipped a couple of pages there dad uh, you need to go back but those are special times aren't they sitting down with your child at the end of the day and also helps them to get to sleep quicker helps them to get to sleep yes and remember the libraries are there to be used they're a fantastic resource and you can take out pretty much as many books as you like for free And they're running the Summer Reading Challenge, which I think Isle of Wight Radio is brilliantly supporting. Brilliant. Okay. Well, um, I mean, there are so many different ways of of getting involved. We'll no doubt get some stuff up on our website, so if you are interested. But the most simple thing to do is, if you have children, spend a little bit of time reading with them. But you can also volunteer. Maybe you're a... um, Maybe you're a grandparent uh, or maybe you're a parent and the children have grown up a bit. And you've got a bit of extra time and you would like to put that time to good use and to catch up on some of those books that maybe you remember reading your children. If you want to volunteer, how do people go about it, Dawn? Thanks, Paul. Um, so if you could go to the School Readers website, it'll be pretty easy to find um, when you search on it, schoolreaders.org. 
and um, you can sign up there as a volunteer and then there's a simple interview process obviously the usual um, checks, checks and things etc yeah. um, I read at Queensgate it took me about four weeks end to end to get into Queensgate primary school I go every Tuesday afternoon read with year two and it is the highlight of my week. Those kids are fantastic. So I'd highly recommend it. Fantastic. Thank you, Dawn, uh, for coming in. Will you come in again and give us a little bit more information on this and what you're hoping to achieve? I feel we've just kind of skirted around the uh, around the outside of this, which is a huge topic uh, on the island, and you could really be helping a young person start their education in the right way, with only 60% of children on the island moving to secondary school uh, at the at the reading age they should be your extra little bit of time could make a big difference what's the website again it's schoolreaders.org there you go dawn pleasure having you on the show thank you so much for coming in that is dawn haig thomas who is the high sheriff of the isle of wight in post until april an awful lot of work to do there we'll get the details up on our website the latest news headlines are next isle of wight 